DAB Digital Radio, Digital TV, downloads and online. This is BBC Radio Five Live. With Stephen Nolan. Well, the government is considering scrapping criminal cases for those caught dodging the TV licence. Instead, failing to pay the £145 a year would become a civil matter. Now, you could still be prosecuted and fined, but you would not get a criminal record. The Justice Secretary Chris Grayling says both he and the Culture Secretary Maria Miller agree it's a really interesting idea, particularly, they say, given the pressure on the court system. John Whittingdale is the chair of the Commons Culture, Media and Sport Committee. What do you make of this idea, John? Well, I think there is a strong case for it. Um, it, it, Part of the problem with the licence fee is that it's £145 a year and there is no assistance. So it doesn't matter how poor you are, you still have to pay that sum. And there is no, unlike the old poll tax, at least... Uh, then at least people on low income did get some relief, but there is no relief at all. Um, And for some people, £145 is an awful lot of money, and they can't afford it. And it is causing an awful lot of prosecutions. Uh, And therefore, I can understand why ministers would see that as putting a great strain on the court system unnecessarily. And the idea that 70 people a year uh, are sent to prison each year because they can't, simply can't afford to pay the fines which are imposed because they failed to pay the licence fee is something which I think we need to look at. Yeah, but hold on a moment. There, there's an inference in what you're saying that, that it would be somehow acceptable to have a TV and not pay the licence, and this is the danger in this. It wouldn't be acceptable. It would still be illegal. It would still and, be and, illegal. And, and, and we shouldn't be encouraging people to, to commit crimes that would be pursued through the, the civil court. Well, um, if you fail to pay a bill... Um, and it doesn't matter if it's a bill to you know, your plumber or any other service provider, then you can still be taken to court uh, and you can be fined for doing that. But the BBC has this unique position, whereas unlike other debtors, they are able to insist on a criminal offence. Actually, I think part of the problem is that this is, is a symptom of the difficulty of the licence fee itself. Um, the licence fee is a flat rate tax which has to be paid by everybody, no matter how low or how high uh, an income you're on. And actually, I think the time has come where we need to look at whether or not the licence fee is the best way of financing the BBC. Well, how would you pay for the BBC? Well, I mean, there are a number of different ways, but I mean, actually, I've always thought that there is a case for paying for it direct from grant from uh, central government. Now, that's an issue which we need to consider as part of the whole reconsideration which takes place when charter renewal occurs. Direct right? from central government? That, that is one option. But you uh, would want the BBC to be at arm's length from the government, wouldn't you? Well, It would budget, have to be. Well, the BBC is not arm's length from the government because the licence fee, uh, although it is a dedicated tax for the BBC, is set by, by the government. So the government still actually has the say at the end of the day as to how people pay for the BBC. Now, we are looking at Charter and Eel very shortly, and the whole question of the funding of the BBC is a part of that process, and we'll need to look at that. I wonder, is this uh, the back door to scrapping the licence fee? Well, that is a, that's a much bigger issue, which actually we do need to think about. Um, the justification for the licence fee, which has existed for I mean, ever since the BBC has been in place, was that Everybody enjoys the BBC either on radio or through TV, and therefore everybody should pay towards it. But, of course, things are changing so rapidly now. Now, A lot of people actually may now have televisions and never look at the BBC. So let me just get this clear, John. You're saying that the time is now right to contemplate scrapping the licence fee? I certainly believe that in the process of the new charter renewal, which is... Under which will take place in the next year, the future of the licence fee is a central part of that. And a lot of the justifications for the licence fee are no longer uh, as strong as they were. Uh, we have a huge choice available now, which didn't exist before. A lot of people are watching television through catch-up services, uh, through video on demand, and it is quite arguable that particularly for young people, uh, they may have a television and never actually watch live BBC coverage. So, sounds to me, John, like if you were voting on this, you'd vote against the licence fee. Is that correct? Well, I, I, my, I chair a select committee which is in the middle of an inquiry into the future of the BBC, and one of the elements of that is a debate about 
whether or not the license fee remains the best way of paying for the BBC. Now, we haven't reached any conclusions yet. We're taking a lot of evidence. But you've just said that the time is right to consider scrapping the license fee. It is clearly the time is right to consider it. What I'm saying is we haven't yet reached a conclusion. We're taking a lot of evidence, and we'll produce a report uh, at the end of that. But I can see strong arguments why the justifications which have always been uh, apparent in the past for having a license fee are now weaker because people can legitimately now argue that they have television but they don't watch the BBC. Um, And the criminal aspect of the license fee, which is what my colleague Andrew Bridgen has raised raised, uh, in the deregulation bill, I think is also uh, something we need to think about because every year there are something like you know, between 50 and 100 people having, who are being sent to prison because they can't afford to pay the license fee. And is that really uh, what we want to see society? I mean, these people who are on low incomes, who are struggling to uh, pay the £145, which the license fee represents, uh, and because they can't afford to do so, they're prosecuted, they're fined, they can't afford to pay the fines, and they end up in prison. Okay. Uh, that is something which I think ministers rightly uh, have said we need to think about whether that really is what the right outcome and whether that, that's something which we should continue to uh, support. Okay. John, I always appreciate you coming on. Not Thank you all. very much indeed. Oh, five.